I, I get such enjoyment out of talking to the people using vMix and understanding what they're doing with it, and it, blow my, it blows my mind what they're doing with vMix. Yeah. Mm. What is vMix showing off that's new this year at NAB? Sure. For NAB, uh, it's all about vMix 27. So vMix 27 is our new release. It only came out a couple of months ago, and it's only really finished having all of its features added in the last month, I would say. So we've got a heap of like new, cool features that I'll go through with you on the screen at some point. Um, but the headliners, they're Zoom integration, so you can bring Zoom callers directly into vMix as live inputs. Uh, our audio mixer um, has been fully updated so that you can send audio to buses at different volumes. You can do matrix um, routing of all of your audio buses. So we've done a heap of updating there. And probably AV1 is the other one that people are really keen on. So you can stream live to YouTube with AV1. And the reason that's really cool is for half of the bandwidth, you can get about the same quality you were getting before. So for remote productions that are producing with... Um, internet that is sort of sort of dodgy. Um, you can use half the bandwidth and achieve the exact same results. So very cool. Yeah, that's a lot of new features. Yeah, well, it's it's only sort of the tip of the iceberg. Those ones, but um, yeah, let's have a look at how how they work in vMix. So we'll start with Zoom because that is the headliner, um, and the the way I'm going to demonstrate that to you is I've actually got a phone set up. With Zoom running on it right now, um, you, you can't see it, it's off camera, but I've brought that Zoom input into vMix, and if we go down, here it is here. So this is the Zoom input. It's input number 23. Hopefully you can see that on screen. And it's, it's bringing in the live feed. Um, I might actually move that camera now, now that I'm looking this way. And we're going to make it face... Oh, we're going to make it face us. Bear with me. There we are. There we go. There we go. Okay, all right. So we've got our Zoom input, right? The next thing I'm going to show you is the sorts of things that you can do with that Zoom input. So if we go into the input itself, we've got access to a Zoom manager that I'll go through with you in a second. And then we can do things like pick a different source, so pick a different person from the meeting. We can pick what sort of video they're sharing, whether it's their camera or whether it's the shared screen that they're sharing. We can pick the resolution that we're seeking, um, right up to 1080p if you have a really premium Zoom account. And we can pick the audio source, uh, which is whether it's their direct, uh, the, like their audio, whether it's the whole Zoom meeting's audio. And then we'll go up into the Zoom manager and this is where we can do things like we can bring in the live chat and we can put it onto titles. So if you've got somebody coming into Zoom and you're presenting them on the screen, and I'll show you sort of what that looks like in a minute, you can, you can pull that chat item straight out, of, straight out of vMix and put it into a lower third. Cool. Um, and then just finally, this is where you would manage all of your participants in the Zoom. So this might have 200 people in the Zoom call. And so you'd right click on each person. At the moment, we've only got Veil feeds here. Right click on them and you can add them as a new input or you can add them to an existing Zoom input. All right, now let's move over to the next machine and I'm going to show you why all of this matters. All right, can we ca come this way? Can I steal it for a minute? Sorry, man. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yep. All right. Okay, so the reason this matters is. Oh, okay. It's your choice. Okay, I'm just going to open up a different preset. And once that's loaded, I'll show you why this matters. So if you have a look at this, this layout here, you can have your own fully customized zoom look, but, but geared towards what you want it to look like. And we've added a new shortcut that lets you do... This is a stream deck, but, but we've added a new shortcut in vMix that allows you to do dynamic switching in the input. So in the past you had to use a merge, now you can do it dynamically. So if you have a look at this, you can see them dynamically switching within the one input and not having to use complex merges. For people that are doing that stuff already in vMix, that's a really, really good new feature. If you're new to vMix, that might be a little bit confusing. But anyway, the last thing I want to show you is Rich Mahogany Edition. So this yeah. is... 
This is a cheeky little uh, new look that we've given vMix as part of the April Fool's thing. So we released a YouTube video a few weeks ago for April Fool's that said we'd brought out Rich Mahogany Edition, but the, the bigger trick is that if you have the latest version of vMix, you have access to this in the settings. So have a play with it. Enjoy it. So funny that you guys did that. I love that. <laughs> Now, with the Zoom integration, does that mm. replace vMix Call? Uh, no, it doesn't replace vMix Call. So vMix Call has the ability to set up dedicated audio and video to send to each individual caller, whereas Zoom, you're just injecting yourself into the Zoom call, and so it's one big environment that you're working in, whereas with vMix Call, you can talk to each individual person separately, send them different audio or different video and things like that. So they operate quite differently, but the cool thing about Zoom is you can have so many more inputs. So in vMix Call, you have eight inputs maximum, eight callers. In Zoom, you might have 300. So, yeah. They will come in at low resolution, though, because there is still a data cap on how many people and how much resolution you have for each. But you can also decide which ones get priority. So you can give some people priority that you know are going to be talking more, are going to be like at full screen more. And so, yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah, very cool. Lots of new cool features. Come check it out at the vMix booth if you're here at NAB Show. Thank you so much for chatting with us today, Heath. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, over to you, Nikki.